Hello and welcome to part two in this two-part series where we demystify all the licensing aspects of ArcGIS Pro. My name is David and I work for tech support here at Esri Canada. Today we are going to be going through the last and final option of licensing ArcGIS Pro using named users from Portal for ArcGIS. If you're not sure if this method is the correct one for you and your business, please go watch part one in this two-part series where we went through the other three options and discussed uh, their different benefits. Now before we uh, go ahead with the steps, I want to make a couple of uh, assumptions known. So with this demo, I will be assuming that you are working with ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7.1 or higher. At earlier versions, things were slightly different. I will also assume that you have the correct licenses listed in your MyEsri account. If at any point in time you find that things in MyEsri are not correct, please contact our customer care team at Esri Canada. And last but not least, uh, that you have a server machine with the ArcGIS License Server Administrator installed, which can be reached by other machines in your network. As mentioned in the previous video, using licenses from name users via Portal for ArcGIS is very similar to having the licenses come uh, from concurrent use licenses in that they both necessitate a license server administrator. On that note, I will quickly mention that you should make sure that the version of your license server administrator is the correct one uh, for your version of ArcGIS Enterprise and your version of ArcGIS Pro. If this is not correct and you are using an unsupported version, you could very well run into some issues along the way. Now, in terms of the steps we are going to be following today, we are going to create a license file in MyEsri. That license file we will then import into two locations, into the license server administrator and into Portal for ArcGIS. We will then assign named users in Portal for ArcGIS to specify which user is actually going to have access to ArcGIS Pro. And last but not least, we will log into ArcGIS Pro and specify the licensing portal uh, so that the users are able to pick up that license. So let's bring up MyEsri and create that license file. So my.esri.com, make sure that you're assigned in to your organization, go into licensing and click on the blue start button to license Esri products. For this demo we will be using ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8.1. Now before I select any of these users uh, I want to make sure this is clear. When licensing portal for ArcGIS you must always make sure the license file contains every single license that your company needs. We cannot simply create a license file that just contains the ex extra ArcGIS Pro add-on licenses you want. When you import that license file, it will overwrite everything that was previously licensed in Portal for ArcGIS, and as such, we want to make sure that this license file really does include everything. So for our purposes, I will select five viewers, five creators. If you have access to GIS Professional user types, then those user types come with ArcGIS Pro and they don't need the add-on. We'll grab the field worker as well. Click on next. You will get a warning saying that you didn't specify any application or add-on application bundles. That's not a problem as we don't need that for this demo. Then in terms of add-on licenses, these are the licenses that will be assigned to a user whose user type would be creator, for example, that was selected in the previous screen. And then we'll select a few of these extensions and click on next. Now in step number four, MyEsri will require you to specify the host name port number and MAC address of where the license server administrator is installed. The license server administrator could be installed on any machine in your network so long as it's accessible via the end users and the machine where portal is installed. If you're not sure of what 
this information is for your license manager machine, you can go to that machine and uh, check in the license server administrator itself. So let's do that here. My license server administrator sits on a virtual machine here and what I can do is go to authorization and go to machine IDs in the bottom left here. This will specify my MAC address as well as my host name which is all that we need. So my MAC address I just copied and my host name is this port number is by default 27,000 unless it was changed by your IT to bypass some kind of firewall issue. Um, in the majority of cases it will just be 27,000 still. So we will continue and click on next in here. Specify all of your personal information and click on next. Now once again review the license file to make sure that it contains not just the ArcGIS Pro licenses but every license that your organization needs to be able to use ArcGIS Enterprise and portal for ArcGIS more specifically and then we will select to download this file now this may take a little bit of time but uh, please be patient and uh, eventually the license file which is a .json format file should get added to your downloads on your machine and we will then move on to the next step which will be to import the license file into the license server administrator so once again I will bring up my virtual machine and open up the license server administrator now under authorization select from the drop down menu named user and authorize now. Then you can select the I've received an authorization file from Esri and select the license file that you downloaded. I've brought mine into this VM and it is sitting on the desktop. Click on next. It will instantly tell you that the named users have been applied and click on OK. At that point it will be rereading your licenses which can also take a little bit of time. Once it's done rereading the licenses, click on availability and in the top right hand corner select named users to make sure that you see all the licenses that you had specified in your license file. If this is correct, then we will move back over to Portal for ArcGIS to import the same license file uh, there. So let's bring up Portal. Okay, make sure you're signed in as an administrator and under organization in the blue bar you should find licenses. You can then click on import licenses and go find that JSON file that would be in your downloads. Click on import. Now as I previously mentioned, this will be replacing all of the license, all of the user types, the add-on licenses, everything that's there will get replaced by whatever is in this file, which is why we made sure that it contained everything we needed. So that's just a warning. Once you click on OK, it should import those licenses for you and you will now get a successful message. Now next step in our diagram was to assign the named users in Portal for ArcGIS. So if we go into Portal, there are different ways in which we can do this. You can either go to find the member that you want to work with and manage add-on licenses and specify whichever license you want to give them. In this case, ArcGIS Pro Advance with this set of extensions. The other way to do this is to go to licenses and in here you can see the different options that you have, hit manage and select whom you want to assign that license to. Once you're happy with that and your licenses are now imported in the license server administrator as well as portal for ArcGIS they've been assigned. We'll now go into ArcGIS Pro itself and make sure that ArcGIS Pro 
is able to pick up on these licenses. So in ArcGIS Pro, by default, uh, your license typically comes from ArcGIS Online and the named user from ArcGIS Online. You can see here that I'm signed into ArcGIS.com, which is ArcGIS Online. And if we go to Settings and Licensing, we can see that my licensing portal right now is ArcGIS Online. What we want to do is we want to click on Configure Your Licensing Options. Select Named User License from the drop-down menu. And for this time, pick ArcGIS Enterprise instead of ArcGIS Online. The URL will be the same as what we were just accessing in Portal. Once you click on OK, it will warn you that ArcGIS Pro must be shut down and restarted. As ArcGIS Pro starts up again, it will prompt you to sign in to ArcGIS Enterprise. Once you specify your username, click on Sign In. That should open up ArcGIS Pro, and you should now see in the top right-hand corner that I'm no longer using ArcGIS.com, but ArcGIS Enterprise as my active portal. Now if we go into settings, just to make sure that everything is in order, we can click on licensing. So we can see here our licensing portal is the fully qualified name with web adapter for portal for ArcGIS. And we can see the extensions that I had attributed to this user, as well as the ArcGIS Pro Advanced. In terms of portals, I'm now getting my license from portal for ArcGIS and you can see that my active portal in terms of the items that I want to see and where I want to publish is also coming from Portal for ArcGIS. This was previously mentioned in part one, but these two do not need to be the same. Having licenses come from ArcGIS Enterprise doesn't mean that I'm now stuck to only publishing there. I can still make sure that my ArcGIS.com, ArcGIS Online account is where I publish items to uh, by simply setting that as the active portal. You can now see that my licenses are still coming from ArcGIS Enterprise and I'm able to publish to ArcGIS.com. At this point in time you've now licensed ArcGIS Pro with named users coming from portal for ArcGIS. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to specify them in the comments below or reach out to us here at Tech Support at Esri Canada if you run into any issues along the way. You can call us at one 441 or email us at support at Thank you very much for watching.